What's going on, everybody? Happy Saturday to you all. Welcome on in Phantom, Big Cheese Thrifts, Dr. Insulin, Ron G, Mighty Munchkin, Hassan, McTelligence, Daniel, Go Looper, Maddie P. What is up, everyone? Good to see you all here. Welcome on in to another edition of the Hefty Nation show. Uh, thank you all for being here. I am kind of a sleepy boy. Uh, for anyone that was here last night, we had our two-year anniversary stream, which kept me up way past my bedtime. I'm too old to be going to bed at midnight. Uh, but thank you all so much. Um, Daniel, it's good to see you. It has been quite a while. Uh, before we get started, well, first off, before we get started, I'm going to put the music on. Uh, but before we get started... Um, in all, that's an ad. I apologize you're hearing an ad right now. Um, I was supposed to do something on stream last night and I totally forgot. So we're going to take care of that first before I forget again. You ready? Oh my God. Another ad. Okay. All right. So, uh, part of the, um, Part of the two-year celebration for uh, last night was I had a Discord exclusive giveaway set up. Um, this was something that only people that were part of Discord could jump into, uh, and it's uh, for a prize. So let's go ahead and get that taken care of right now before I forget. And then we'll get started. I uh, won't be here much. It's popping in and out every now and then. No worries, Dr. Insulin. All right, let's see. We got, what, about nine people? Am I counting that right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, we got nine people in the giveaway. Good morning, Sito. Go, Looper. I am sorry. You're out. All right, let's roll again. Oh no, Hassan. I'm sorry, buddy. Hassan doesn't get it. Keith just barely got cut. I'm sorry, Keith. Oh, and Larry goes down. All right, down to five. Down goes Polly. I'm sorry, Polly. You're a little bit livid because your shield version crashed right before you beat Palkia before you could catch it. Well, at least that means that you didn't miss out on a shiny, right? You missed out on some time, but not a shiny. Does not go to Jonas. Down to the bottom three. Uh, unfortunately, Mighty Munchkin, I had this uh, uh, in the Discord up and running for uh, for about a day. DJ Marks is out, uh, and it is a Discord exclusive. The only reason I'm doing it on stream is to show people there's no funny business with whoever wins. It's now between Tay Tay Taylor and Dark Moon Sylveon. 1330 soft resist for Steelix. Yikes. I hope you get soon, Phantom. Oh, and Dark Moon Sylveon is out. Which means Tay Tay Taylor is our big winner. Tay Tay, if you're out there, um, I will be DMing you the code for a uh, $50 gift card for a Nintendo Switch. But thank you to all who participated. Let's go ahead and get started with the hunt. We got Carablast versus Shelmet today. Let's see who's going to win. That was Swift, exactly. 
Tay Tay got a swift win. Good morning, Raz. Yesterday was a lot of fun, and thank you so much again for that epic raid. I really appreciate that. All right, let's see if we can get a first check shiny. No shiny, we go again. I almost fell asleep with a slice of pizza in my mouth last night. That's how tired and hungry I was. Mighty Munchkin, I will definitely be doing uh, Bell Sprout. I need to get two. Good call. We do need to do a poll. Thank you, McTelligence. Uh, let me pull that. Oh, it's right here. What am I doing? Um, all right, there we go. It's a hilarious image. It, it, it was something. It was not my my proudest moment. Uh, weeping bells in the raids. Oh, nice. Sebastian, good morning. Hockey number twenty. Good luck, Hassan. Nothing dang. Uh, cranky bug would be care blast. Look at that face. He looks a little cranky. So anyone got any big weekend plans? Anything fancy going on? I'll be doing the bell sprout raids. I gotta finish watching three body problem. Uh, I've been getting a lot of grief from my dad and uh, my friend about not finishing that up. I have two episodes left to watch. I did watch the latest episode of X-Men 97 this morning, uh, which was, of course, fantastic. Taken in a direction I did not quite expect, but it makes sense for the show. Happy holidays to you, Razzie. Wedding. Nice. You're gonna get out on the dance floor. After you get Palky, you only have 10 more shiny legendaries to get from DAs. That's insane. Need to finish uh, Pokemon Horizons today. I need to get back on that. I, I watched the first, I think, four or five episodes. I need to get back on that. Heading to Savannah, Georgia for a special night of recognition from a producer. Nice, Matt. My uh, my parents used to live in Savannah, actually, for a while. Actually, well, technically Richmond Hill, just outside of Savannah. Uh, I love downtown Savannah. It's such a beautiful area right there on the um, on the river. Having a chill night with friends tonight, then back to streaming tomorrow night. Sounds good, Razzy. You deserve a nice chill night. I actually saw a production of Little Shop of Horrors at uh, at uh, the theater in Savannah. Community Day in Savannah will be fun. Yeah, that will be. Really, the next set of episodes comes in 20 days on Netflix. I gotta catch up quick then. Good morning, Mystic Emerald. How are you? So it looks like it's... Cranky Bug has 50%. Gooey Helmet has a 38%, and 12% of you are saying lol no. I get that. I'd probably say lol no too. I 
I need to get together with Miss Amber Dysart and figure out when we're going to do this Kangaskhan. I don't think I'm going to stream that one. I think she was thinking about streaming it, but I'm itching. I want to get that shiny Kangaskhan so bad. One of the last couple of Gen 1 shinies I need. I need Kangaskhan, Tangela, Kabuto, Kabutops, and Aerodactyl. Come on, bro. I hate it when it takes this long to check the software. You're slowing me down. And one of the last Gen 2 Pokemon I need to get in a Premier Ball is, of course, freaking Sunkern. I phased again on Sunkern in the Friend Safari yesterday before stream, actually. I was knocking out some Friend Safari checks while I was watching my friend Razzy stream. And there were two things in the, in the Safari, Sunkern and uh, Swadloon. And of course, the Swadloon shone, shined, shinned, shinnied. Alright, check number 10 on each one of these 20 total checks. Nope. No, no, uh, no, ch uh, no shiny under, under 21 checks, I suppose. I don't, I don't know where I was going with that sentence. I'm tired still. I am a sleepy boy. I was actually dozing off a little bit earlier after I woke up. We had, uh, we had a lot of fun last night. I appreciate everyone that came out. I appreciate all the raids. I had some insane raids from some amazing people last night. Razzy, 501st Pokemon Legion, Embers of Painter, Zed Games and Frosty Lemon. Incredible. And then we got to go check out my buddy Brandon afterwards too, which was nice. I just sent him, he, like, he sent me a DM last night thanking me for the raid, and I had to send him one this morning to apologize. I was like, I'm sorry I wasn't there very long. I was so hungry and sleepy. But I can't believe we streamed for four hours, four hours and 15 minutes, actually, and only gave away 120 shinies. I thought it was going to go a lot faster than that. Never thought you'd have that much fun with trading. I thought it was a good time, like... I was thinking about it earlier this week, and I was like, okay, what can I do to make this not so boring and a pain in the butt? And that's when I thought about the Wheel of Destiny. I was like, you know what? That's going to make it fair. And although we kind of stretched that a few times last night, I, I think I think that was a lot of fun. A little bit of gambling. Always fun, right? You never know what you're going to get. Knocked out a couple more uh, levels of Princess Peach Showtime this morning, too. So that was nice. I'm doing this thing. It's it's just the way I am. I'm built different, I suppose. Um, once I get to a level, once I start a level, I can't move on to the next level until I 100% that level. And every single level in Princess Peach Showtime, there has been one thing that I've missed on the first run through. So I got to run through the whole level again. And the worst part is, unlike some other games, um, if you run through a level a second time to get something you missed, once you get that thing that you missed, you can't just, like, quit the level and it saves. Like, you have to complete the level after you get the thing you missed. So I did this one this morning. I was missing a ribbon. And, of course, the ribbon was right at the beginning of the level. So all I had to do was go in there, and, like, ten seconds in, I got the ribbon, and then I had to play through the rest of the level again in order to complete the collection. Couldn't have been the last thing in the level. It had to be the first thing. Uh, you have a new coffee uh, this morning and you're not a fan of it so far. What kind is it, Cheese? I'm, I'm doing something a little bit different, too. Um, I'm low on K-Cups, so I'm actually rocking some Dunkin' Donuts Espresso Dark Coffee. 
and it is I'll, I'll just say that my my chest is getting hairier by the second illy k cup never heard of illy it's stout like a guinness So I'm excited about this hunt. I think these are two uh, po like two Pokemon in general that get overlooked a lot, uh, and two gorgeous shinies that get overlooked a lot too. I think I think both of these shinies and their evolutions are beautiful. Your Diner Coffee is fantastic. Of course it is. It's Diner Coffee. Can this one make it sweeter? Dang. Come on, check the software quicker. I go ahead and check the care blast, but one, I want the counts to be even, and two, both those counters are actually the same counter. It's the same source. Phantom coming in with a light goal of 40. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. Voltage, what is up? Uh, no, did not get the Tapu Lele yet. But I was getting burnt out on that hunt, so I thought I'd switch it up for a while and we'd start doing these uh, these head-to-head -head resets, which I'm having a lot of fun with. But how you doing, Voltage? And Jacoby, what's going on? Good to see ya. Yeah, eventually we'll get the Lele. Eventually we'll get the Lele. Right now I'm just having a lot of fun doing these soft resets to work on my Premier Dex shinies. Hunting for uh, things I already have, but I don't have in Premier Balls. Been okay. Uh, a little DA drought yourself uh, after finding Kirum and Tapu Fini to complete your Tapu set. Nice. Congratulations on that. Sorry you're in a bit of a drought at the moment. You put bugs in the light goal for the shiny hunt. I love that, Phantom. Thank you so much. It's a great idea. I put coffee in my light goal because, well, I need it. All right, 8.19, we're at 19 checks. We did do that giveaway at the beginning of the stream, so definitely getting more than one check a minute. But I keep forgetting about un tethering uh the bottom switch to my nintendo account i need to do that so these checks will go faster if only the tab is gonna be transferred to scarlet and violet right i don't get it i don't get it there's a lot of decisions that were made about scarlet and violet that i don't understand a lot of decisions that were made about scarlet and violet that i like but a lot of ones i'm not a big fan of Razzy, did you get anything after the Pachirisu last night? Uh, or was that a good place uh, to take a break? You got the Delta Game Emulator app. You got Pokemon Fire Red, Emerald, Ruby, and Crystal. Nice. I, uh, I've been hearing about that the last few days. Yeah, Reggie's full odds. That was terrible. Um, I infamously am not a fan of the full odds Reggie's and Sword and Shield. 16,840. That's right. I'm sorry, Rez. You did say that. My brain was kind of going in and out towards the end of stream last night. You did say that. So is that what you're planning on doing tomorrow or that will be like later in the week? Saving this for dead last. Uh, Reggie, the uh, first, to be honest, for you, you have 22 out of 47 now for total. Nice. That's a good amount. I have what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got, I think, seven. Seven out of 47. Cranky bug for the win. I thought you'd like that, Amber. Good morning. 
Amber, I was just talking about you a few minutes ago. Uh, I'm going to put you on the spot in front of the entire internet uh, because why not? We need to figure out when we're doing this Kangaskhan hunt. I am itching to do this Kangaskhan. I know that you were thinking about streaming that. You're also Cranky Bug, the, the best Cranky Bug. Oh my gosh, why is it taking so long on so many checks? Usually it's like one out of every 15 or 20 it takes this long, but this has been like every other one. Uh, I'll plan on doing that hunt after you get the Alpha Alakazam. Uh, nice. You woke up early today and you're a sleepy boy too? How about it? You know what? I just thought of something. Okay, that seems good. I can't even remember if I checked my teams beforehand. Okay, that seems good. Good. Good, good, good. I didn't want to be a a dum dum and finally get the shiny and find out I had like a team of KO Pokemon. Excelgore has uh, such an underrated shiny, it looks so clean. I totally agree, Voltage. Excelgore is amazing. I think all four of them are great. Carablast, Shaman, Excelgore, Scavalier. I think they're all great shinies. I I've really been looking forward to this hunt. 1350 soft resets, dang. I uh, wouldn't mind doing it whenever. I just never know what hunts you're doing. Uh, I would love to stream it so whenever Dorian's off, maybe next week. Sounds good. That sounds good, Amber. Uh, yeah, so the nice thing is because I'm doing these soft reset hunts now on, um, on Sword and Shield, um, I'm not like locked into anything. It's not like I'm you know in the middle of an SOS hunt or something. So I can... I can, you know, set it up at any time. I like Care of Less, a little more. This blue's your favorite color. Nice. Still have to shelf my hunt in Gardevoir. Good luck with that. I, uh, I, I might eventually start doing some shelf hunts. I only ever got two shelfas, uh, and they were both completely random. There's no hunting. Uh, there's no MMOs. They just appeared in the wild. Uh, and both in the same map as well. I think it was while I was hunting for unknowns. Uh, got um, uh, Roserade and uh, Carnivine. Uh, yeah, Amber, not not a problem. I'll be happy to get on a call with you and help you set it up. Like, the first few times I tried to set up these hunts, it was like touch and go. It was like hit or miss for me. Uh, but I've been, uh, you know, doing a lot more of them lately, so I kind of got it. I got it down pretty well. You've been loving PLA again. You know, it's been so long since I've really gotten into that game and played it. You know, may, it, it might have been long enough for me to to get back into it uh, and enjoy it. Yes, uh, I am taking a break from Lele uh, Rendelson. It uh, it was I, I got a little burnt out on it, so decided to take a break and do some hunts I've been looking forward to doing. Uh, we're doing a series of head-to-head -head reset belt uh, belts. See who shines first. Last weekend we did Omastar versus Kabutops, and Omastar won. So Kabutops went to the losers bracket, and whoever does not shine first between Carablast and uh, Shelmet will be facing off against Kabutops in a later stream. You know, I never, I never really like truly did any legends arceus streams uh legends arceus when legends arceus came out that's that's when i started my channel or at least started posting content to my channel and that was all just short videos it was all clips from the switch um and you know i finished the game and then when i started streaming uh april 16th of 2022 i was already done with arceus and we moved on to other stuff. We've done, I think, two or three unknown hunt streams. But that's really it. I've never really done anything else with Arceus on stream before. 
We have to head out for Miles Starker game, though. Love you guys. Love you too, Amber. Tell Miles I said play well, have fun, do good, all that stuff. Unknown Hunt was the first time you saw me stream. That was my first. Uh, that was my first stream at this house. I did three streams at the old house before I moved, which would have been a few weeks prior. But uh, they were pretty much all garbage. The first one lasted for six minutes, and the fr uh, the it was like sixty frames per hour. Um, there's no hands in soccer unless you're the goalie. Don't use your hands, Miles. No hands. Put your hands behind your back. Just keep them there. Um, and then I did a Stone Journer hunt and a... I think it's Solosis hunt. Uh, but, like, the house is, like, in the middle of getting moved. There's boxes and stuff everywhere. I was sitting in the living room. Uh, the monitor and the computer were, like, on the living room table. So yeah, the uh, the alpha hunt or the uh, the unknown hunt uh, was like my first real like official stream with uh, the setup and the house and everything. Uh, you got back into PLA on your second account to get Arceus shiny hunt and your shiny run and end up getting hooked again and uh, shiny hunting for shinies. Nice. Yeah, the one thing I don't like about um, PLA. Um, for me, for me personally, I don't know how other people feel if they have this issue, is the ball selection. Um, I would probably be spending a lot more time in PLA if they had Premier Balls. Um, but, you know, as it is, basically everything I did get shiny in Arceus, I've been having to re-hunt in other games. Doing a Trico Soft Reset Hunt in Pokemon Emerald? Ooh, good luck, uh, good luck, Phantom. I keep wanting to say to Sejoy, I'm sorry. It'll it'll wear off eventually. Uh, that's that's an awesome hunt. What a flex that would be when you get it. Ball selection is annoying, but you decided to focus on a specific ball for Legends of the Game. Are, are you doing heavy balls, Razzy? I thought heavy balls would be the closest to a luxury ball. Gigaton. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's right. I, for, I forgot. There's like three. There's like three types of balls, and there's like three levels for each ball. Rigatoni balls. Nice. You vote on Carablast. Nice. Carablast is winning, fifty-six percent. I could go for some Rigatoni. Use that ball for alphas too. Yeah, Gigaton's a cool ball. So it was what? The heavy, the heavier in the Gigaton. And there is the wing, the jet, and the SR71. And there is the Pokeball, Great Ball, and Ultra Ball. Feather, that's it. Feather was the one I forgot. Now you have to rehunt some alphas. Oh my gosh, Raz. It never ends, does it? That's right. You got to craft them. Yeah, yeah. You can't buy them in the store. You have to craft all those. Like jet balls. Jet balls are cool. I mean, there's a lot of different types of Pokeballs that I like. I think some of them look really cool. But for me personally, I want to have all my shinies uniform. I want to have them all in the same type of ball. And I'm just such a fan of the Premier Ball. But I mean, I love... Um, I mean, I actually like a lot of the Pokeballs from PLA. I think the designs are really cool. I love Moon Balls. I like Luxury Balls. I like Dusk Balls. Uh, I like... Uh, I actually like Heel Balls. Especially for, you know, some of the daintier, pinker, yellow Pokemon. Trying to get your 77th Shafa Pokemon. You'll get it, Phantom. You'll get it. Origin Ball, right? That'd be cool. You know, I've often said that if it was possible, if it was at all possible to do this, 
I wouldn't get all my shinies from mirror balls. I get all my shinies in cherish balls. Cherish balls look so clean. Yeah, cherish balls are sick. What's everyone else's favorite type of Pokeball? Cherish balls are favorite years. Too bad they aren't obtainable. Yeah. Luxury. Luxury for reason. No, I like luxury. Luxury balls are cool. You completed the research on Dusk Noir last night. Very nice. Yeah, you know, and you know what? The strange balls actually do look pretty cool. I do like the design of the strange ball. Nest ball. Okay. Nest ball is pretty nice. I also like dive balls and, uh, and net balls. Part of that's just my love for water type Pokemon, but uh, dive ball. In fact, I have a friend of mine years ago made me a custom net ball because he had asked me back then what my favorite type. Why is the camera not zooming? Come on, there we go. Uh, a friend of mine years ago asked me what my favorite type of Pokeball was, and back then it was a net ball. Hey, Marie, what's going on? Good to see you. How was work last night, Amory? Moonball's your favorite? Yeah, Moonball's really sick. Moonball's really cool looking. You know, one thing I learned doing that stream last night, giving away all the shinies, is that if I could go back in time and tell my younger Hefty self one thing, it would be this. It would be, Hefty, if you're playing on Masuda hunting that shiny, when you go to catch the parent that you're gonna put into the nursery with Ditto, don't catch it in a Great Ball. Use a Premier Ball on the Pokemon that's gonna be the parent. That would be what I would tell him. It was all right. The only one that you dislike are Pokeballs, Great Balls, and Ultra Balls. They are a little, I don't want to say basic, but I guess I just did. Yeah, Fastballs look cool. I have, uh, I caught my, um, I caught my Terror Raid Cinderace in a Fastball. I felt that was, uh, appropriate. Yeah, I really want to know that too, Phantom. I really want to know that. I, I'm... I'm probably going to be let down, but I'm really hoping they have the traditional types of Pokeballs in Legend ZA, meaning not just the, you know, Pokeball, Great Ball, Ultra Ball, but put in those Premier Balls, Luxury Balls, Quick Balls. That's what I would love to see happen. Worms! James has worms! Given that it's most likely not set in the distant past, I would imagine that there would be a better Pokeball selection, like they wouldn't be the ancient looking Pokeballs. So, I mean, I guess there's a possibility it'll have standard Pokeballs. I just, I don't know. See, that's the thing with only having one game in a series, right? There's not enough data to say what is a pattern. You're just watching a video of the game Worms? Nice. Is that is that the game I'm thinking of? Is that the is that the franchise, the series that started like on PC back in like the 90s, where you had worms that had different power-ups and you were trying to uh kill the other team of worms and you could throw like bombs and stuff like that? Yes, okay, nice. Premier balls were introduced in Gen 3. And sadly only in the Hoenn games. Uh, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. I found out much to my chagrin, there are no Premier Balls available in Fire Red Leaf Green. 
you can transfer them over. Like if I trade a Pokemon from Emerald to Fire Red, I could have it holding a Premier Ball, but you can't get Premier Balls in Fire Red Leaf Green. Girlfriend might throw in a curveball. I thought you were married, Kieran. You're not supposed to have a girlfriend. You're married. Good morning, Kieran. Or I guess good afternoon, Kieran. Women be shopping. If there is one thing that late 80s, early 90s stand-up comedians taught me, it's women be shopping. I need to contact Tay Tay now before I forget, because I will forget. Alright, sorry about that, guys. You finished the Fallout TV show today? OMG, I heard it's really good. And I heard that you don't need to have played the games in order to like it. Cause, and that's good, because I've, I've never played them. Uh, in two days, the background update in uh, Pokemon Go is coming. That's right. Bellspear Community Day Day, that's right. I need to get two for myself. I already got one, I think, from the Kanto Fest. Avatars like awful and Pogo now. I haven't really been able to tell. I know they updated, but I don't know. I don't typically look at my avatar. Um, I mean, on the map, it still basically looks the same to me. <clears throat> Happy Leaf Day. That's right. Today is 420. It is 420 and it's community day for Pokemon National Dex number 69. Tell me they didn't do that on purpose. I mean, I'll, I'll say this. Like when I opened up the game after the update and I got the opportunity to like change my face and body shape and everything like that. I played around with that for a minute and none of them were really like knocking my socks off. I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. Um, but thankfully, like, you know, when I look at the map, the avatar is small enough and typically looking away uh, from me. I don't really notice much of a difference there. I think maybe if I was more active in changing my appearance and clothes and everything, it might make more of a difference for me. Got shiny bronze or an Audino. Congratulations, Amory. I don't think I have either one of those in Pogo. You can see that internal planning meeting, right? Keith, what is going on? Stream last night turned out very well, Keith. Um, we ended up giving away about 120 shinies over just over four hours. It took a lot longer than I thought it would. We still have we still have like 500 something shinies to give away. Exactly, cheese. So uh, we will be doing more uh, shiny giveaway streams in the future. Just don't know one yet. But uh, we also got raided by a lot of amazing people, Keith. We got a Razzy raid. We got a 501st Pokemon Legion raid, an Ember Z Painter raid, and a dual. Zed Games and Frosty Lemon Raid. So that was pretty awesome. And then we went to go see Brandon. Oh, what the heck? There we go. Huh? 
how was uh, how was work? You say you were busy, but like good busy or bad busy? Yeah, the community was really respectful too. There were look, I'm just I'm not gonna mince words here. There's obviously some people uh, in the community that may be younger than others, and they were really excited about getting shinies, especially since I wasn't capping it on one shiny per person. Um, and there were some people that uh, you know were very excited about getting multiple shinies. But whenever I said, like, guys, this person hasn't had a chance to get a shiny yet. Let's let them in next. Everyone was very respectful. It was, like, unheard of on YouTube. It was crazy. When you wear a hat and you have any hair, the hair loses pixels. Oh, I didn't know that. That's weird. Yeah, cheese. I only stayed for, like, five minutes. Um, I was just so hungry and sleepy. I felt bad. Well, it looked like he was having a good time. We, we came in at like the same time as uh, uh, Poke Gathers raid, which is kind of crazy. I, I honestly felt a little bad about that. I don't know if anybody else that streams that does raids ever feels this way. If you've ever raided someone like at the same time that someone else is raiding, I feel a little awkward. I feel a bad. It's like I'm stealing someone's thunder. Good busy. Glad to hear it. One more Pokemon, you'll have a team of six Heptimons. I think we can get that team put together, Razzy. Thank you for all the Oshawats, by the way. Oh, and Keith, I forgot to do the giveaway last night, the Discord giveaway last night, but we did it first thing uh, this morning uh, in the stream. And I'm sorry to say, Keith, you did not win. Cold Sakai, member for 13 months. Thanks for the gifted. I think that was, I think that might have been Lady Papa Pee Pee Poo Poo last night. But thank you so much, Cold. Hope you're doing well. Another amazing content creator. Let's get some hype for Cold. Cold, I heard about your Drago. And I gotta say, there's a little part of me that is very jealous, but a big part of me that's just so freaking hyped. That's incredible. Congratulations, buddy. That's insane. That's that's not even double digits. That's literally the lowest double digits could possibly go. Good morning, Billy. Yeah, so to uh, to 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 steal uh, steal a bit from uh, my good friend Razzy, Cold and I both got our Reggie Dragos in a combined sixteen thousand eight hundred and fifty checks. Keith, you got Landers yesterday. Congratulations. You know, if we <laughs> if we Averaged out how long it took for me to get my Drago and Cold to get his Drago, the average would still be over odds. Cold's 10 check Drago does not even offset my Drago enough to be under odds on average. Yeah, Keith, you've been getting you've been getting Dynamax Shinies like at least like once or twice a day. Sometimes two at the exact same time. Meep, what's going on, Shido? Good to see you. Shido be meeping. He is setting records. 
still have not found another instance on YouTube of someone streaming uh, Dynamax Adventures and uh, getting two shiny legendaries on the same check. Big leg, uh, big cramp in your leg just came on. Walk it off. All right, we've checked 124 Pokemon so far. No shiny. The odds of this hunt are 1 in 1365, which means that if we can get both counters up to 683, uh, that'll be uh, that'll be odds, basically. It's too early for this much disrespect from a couple legs. You tell them. Keith, walk it off. I like that. Meep, meep. You know, when I was a little kid, I did not like the uh, Wile E. Coyote Roadrunner cartoons. I preferred, like, the, the Daffy and the Bugs, you know, those ones, uh, when it came to Looney Tunes. As I got older, and by older, I mean, like, 10, I really started to appreciate the uh, Coyote Roadrunner cartoons. They ended up becoming my favorite. I think it was because when I was a little kid, I didn't like that there was no talking. Like, it was just, like, I, I don't know. I thought without dialogue, it was boring. Uh, but then I really liked them when I got to be a little bit older. All right, here's a question for everyone in the chat. I think I might have asked this in the past, but it was like a long time ago, so I'm sure we'll get some new answers from you, some new people. When you were a little kid, what was the one kids movie that you watched so many times that your parents wanted to throw the movie out of the house and never see it ever again. What movie did you watch so many times it drove your family crazy? For me, it was Dumbo. I watched Dumbo nonstop when I was a kid. Three Ninjas! Oh my gosh, I remember that movie, Keith. Thomas and the Magic Railroad. Not really a movie person. How about a TV show, Reese? Was there a TV show that you watched, like, nonstop? Wizard of Oz a lot, as well as the Disney movies? Nice. Eh. Reeves is just built different. You know what, though? Um... Keith saying Three Ninjas made me think, uh, when it comes to, like, live-action stuff, I will say, like, a, um, a honorable mention was, I remember when Honey, Shrunk, uh, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids came out on VHS, uh, we rented it, and I watched that thing probably four or five times in that 24 hours that we had it rented. Home Alone, Toy Story, and Power Rangers, the, uh, the, the holy trinity right there. VHS talk. Yeah, I'm old. Get over it. I'm teasing. Tum Tum? What's Tum Tum? Rugrats go to Paris? Oh, okay. Nice. I did, I never saw that one. I saw the first Rugrats movie. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, Tum Tum. He was the youngest of the three ninjas. That's right. That's right. It's all coming back to me now. He was always hungry. Rocky, Colton, Tum Tum. Yep. I know there are several movies. The only ones I remember are Three Ninjas and Three Ninjas Kickback. But I think there was more movies than that.
Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, just to see it a ton. Nice. 101 Dalmatians and a lot of the older movies, like uh, Disney movies. Yeah, a lot of those older Disney movies were great. Um, although I, I did put my copy of The Lion King through the, uh, through the ringer with how many times I watched that when it came out. There was four? Okay. Knuckle Up. Okay, yep, Knuckle Up. That does sound familiar. And Mystic Mountain. I don't think I'm familiar with that one. Aladdin. Aladdin was a really good one, too. Um, animated TMNT with the Stone Villains. Nice. Um, blah, blah, blah. You did watch a lot of TV shows when you were a kid. Just watch whatever you could find. All right. So, Reese, there wasn't, like, any one thing in particular that, like, you were always watching. You were just, you were good with whatever was on. You'd, you'd just go, go um, clicking around, find something new to watch. That's good. Evelyn, what's up? Good to see you. Shuffle between like eight channels. You know, I remember looking forward to Saturday morning every week to watch the Saturday morning cartoons. Um, it was such a it was such a big deal, and like I don't know if anybody's old enough to remember, like it was such a big deal back then that every fall when the new seasons would start, like they would even do specials, like primetime specials on Friday night doing previews of all the new animated shows coming out on Saturday mornings, uh, which was really cool. Um, and I just love Saturday morning cartoons so much. And then Cartoon Network became a bigger thing. And I love Cartoon Network because I could watch cartoons whenever I wanted to, right? But I do feel like the rise of things like Cartoon Network and uh, you know Disney and all that did kind of... Uh, kill the Saturday morning cartoon vibe. Uh, first Power Ranger movie so much, they, they hid the VHS until you're 18. Oh my gosh, cold. Your Cartoon Network haven't been the same since 2016. You know, I gotta be honest, there's not a lot of Nickelodeon shows that I've watched since the late 90s. Like, I'll put it this way, all that was after my time. I was a, I was a roundhouse kid. I never got into all that. Um, Cartoon Network, I kept up with pretty well through, like, the early 2000s. Um, it was probably around the Misadventures of Flapjack, Chowder, like, that sort of era. That's kind of when I fell off. Um, I never really watched much of Disney. When I was a kid, we didn't have the Disney Channel, uh, so that wasn't really a thing for me. Uh, Adina's strong spawns are so annoying, they run away and raid nothing doesn't work on them sometimes. What? Reeves, are you, um, are you saving, like, right over the spawn to make sure they don't run away? You love Flapjack and Chowder? Chowder, I was okay with. It was a little... I'm an odd person to begin with. Sometimes Chowder can be a little, little too odd for me. Flapjack, I liked. Like, a lot about it. Like... From, first off, the name. Flapjack is just a really funny word. I don't care who you are. Flapjack is just fun to say. His dopey grin that he always had on. His excited, dope grin. Like, he is just the most excited boy you could ever meet, but he's got nothing going on in his brain. Uh, it cracked me up. Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy I really liked. Uh... Oh, good luck with that, Reeves. Um, if, if you find a new method, I will be curious to see what that is. Maybe you are, Flapjack. Maybe you are. Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, I really liked. Uh, it contains... One of the episodes contains one of my favorite moments in a cartoon ever. It's just such, like, a, an existential joke that just blows my mind. There's one episode where Billy has a sandwich, and he's so excited that he has the sandwich. 
and he takes a bite of the sandwich. And then he freaks out because the sandwich got smaller. And then he took another bite, and then the sandwich got smaller, and he's upset. And by the end, he's eaten the sandwich, and he's crying that the sandwich is gone. Like, he did not understand the concept of eating. That cracked me up so bad. Courage the Cowardly Dog was amazing. I loved Courage the Cowardly Dog. That, that, like, I can understand why there's a lot of people that were kids when that show came out that got creeped out by Courage. I totally get it. Uh, I was, I would say, probably the right age when that uh, cartoon came out. I was, like, in my early 20s that I could really, I really enjoyed the humor of that show. And one of my proudest moments of YouTube was getting Carly Mae on stream to read the Fred Fredberger monologue. Darkwing Duck was really good. I really like Darkwing Duck. That was like right, that was like right in my, my wheelhouse. I was like 12, 13 years old when, uh, when Darkwing Duck came on. I had just recently gotten into comic books, so the idea of like a Disney superhero, I loved. Uh, I will still never forget when they first aired the two-part Just Us Justice Duck storyline, where Darkwing Duck forms a superhero team to battle against the super villain team. Oh, peak, peak. Tailspin, Chippendale, DuckTales, yep, yep, the Disney Afternoons, absolutely. I'm going a little bit earlier than that, just a, maybe a couple years earlier than that. I, you know, I was big into uh, gummy bears and ducktails, uh, and then yeah, when they when they added in like Tailspin, Chippendale, Darkwing Duck. Uh, when it came to the Disney cartoons, it was probably around the Bonkers time when Bonkers became a cartoon. That that was about when I stopped watching that stuff. Remembrance of Courage Past, such a great episode it really was. Oh my gosh, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. I completely forgot about that show, Billy. That was a good one. Yeah, Rescue Rangers was great. Like, on my, on my Disney Plus, I have a lot of shows that are just set up like as my favorites that I can just, you know, go to uh, whenever I want. Basically, all the Marvel cartoons, and then we got the classic DuckTales, Rescue Rangers, Tailspin, um... Darkwing Duck. There's a lot of days where I'll just like crawl into bed and I'll just, you know, throw on one of those and fall asleep watching them. Also, I've discovered a few new shows through uh, through Disney Plus I've really enjoyed. Newer shows I'd never heard of. Um, there's one, I'm almost done with the second season. There's only two seasons. Wander Over Yonder. Has anyone heard of Wander Over Yonder? Over odds. I'm sorry, Phantom. That stinks. Sometimes some crimes go slipping through the cracks, but these two gum shoes are picking up the slack. Ah, uh, quality update of Muppet Babies, uh, Babies would be good. I like Muppet Babies a lot. Be yeah, a wander over yonder. I discovered on Disney Plus a couple months ago, and for anyone that ever watched, um. Um, 30 Rock. Um, what's his name? The other uh, page, the page boy. Um, the guy that plays him, Jack McBrayer, he does the voice of the main character, and it is just, I think it's hilarious. There's no case too big, no case too small. When you need help, just call Ch -ch -ch Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Jackie Chan Adventures, that was really good. I remember Jackie Chan came on, I think, right after Pokemon on uh, on the Kids WB. That that was how I spent my Saturday mornings in college was uh, Kids WB. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, Jackie Chan Adventures, Pokemon, Cardcaptor Sakura. Um, there was there was a cartoon they had too that was like about kids that were ninjas that were like learning to be ninjas it was a very asian inspired saturday morning one more thing uncle
Shallon Showdown. Shallon Showdown. That's what it is. Yep, Shallon Showdown. Post Malone is also in the new Taylor Swift music video. Good for them. I woke up yesterday morning and put it on the news and found out that Taylor Swift released not one, but two new albums Thursday night. And the first thing I said was, well, I guess this is all I'm going to hear about for the next month. Jake the Dragon, I do remember that. I didn't watch it, like, a lot, but I did see quite a few episodes of that. Dairy Light, what is going on? It has been a while. Good to see you, Daylight. Or, I'm sorry, as you are currently known, Dairy Roxy Bear Roselia, the ice cream business queen. American Dragon, Jake Long. 565 soft resets. Dang. Got to save uh, before you load it in and then run into it. Oh, that's a pain in the butt. Razzy, thank you for giving Daylight some ice cream and business briefcases for her business. Daylight has a long day ahead of her at the business factory. All for a guzzlord. You're going to get it, Shido. Uh, Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, that was good. All right, let's go way back in the Wayback Machine. Um, what was it called? The, um... What was it called? It was a cartoon from the 80s about all these animals, but each animal was a combination of two animals. Code Lyoko. I watched a couple episodes of that. I didn't watch that one a lot, but I do. I, I'm familiar with that show. I'm gonna have to look this up. Dramatically opening a briefcase, revealing a chocolate sundae. Nice job, Razzy. Cartoon. Two animals in one. The Wuzzles. I I, I wanted to say the Fuzzles. Does anybody remember the Wuzzles? had like one that was like half hippo half seal like i think like the main character at least the one i remember the most was part lion part bumblebee uh you had one that was part elephant part kangaroo one that was part bear part butterfly part rhino part gorilla one that was a uh, half hippo half rabbit or may maybe that one's not a hippo and seal maybe that one's a moose and a seal That was a fun cartoon. Berenstein Bears. Oh, that and Berenstein Bears. I thought you were trying to say it was like a Mandala effect. Yeah, I, I remember Little World of Richard Scary. I don't remember the cartoon too well, but I do remember having all the books when I grew up. Thundercats is really cool. Did anyone watch the Thundercats uh, reboot from the early 2000s on Cartoon Network? I thought they did a really good job with that. I mean, the classic Thundercats, of course, is amazing. Um, but I thought I thought they did a really good job with the reboot uh, on Cartoon Network. The McDonald's cartoon, I do not remember that. Does anybody remember the uh, McDonald's... Uh, advertisement uh wrapped in uh as a movie called mac and me that was a total ripoff of et but the alien liked mcdonald's and he danced and sang with ronald mcdonald it's still animated in the white background i do remember that captain planet he's our hero gonna take pollution down to zero ah oh, that stinks reeves Shining Time Station. I I don't know if it's true or if it's an urban legend, but whenever I hear Shining Time Station, all I think about is Ringo Starr 
And this urban legend that the reason why Ringo Starr was the narrator is that that was part of his community service for something he got arrested for. Now that I say it out loud, it has to be an urban legend. Scooby-Doo, where are you? The classic Scooby-Doo was great. I also liked a pup named Scooby-Doo. I think a pup named Scooby-Doo has one of the best cartoon theme songs ever. You, you believe that's true, Cheese? Ringo Starr is the narrator of Shine Time Station because he was court mandated to be. It's such a bop key. Scooby Dooby Doo, Scooby Dooby Doo. A pup named Scooby Doo. Ooh, ooh. But no, I always, I always like Scooby. When I was in college, uh, I had a class uh, on media criticism, and one of our assignments was uh, we had to analyze. I, it was a very vague assignment. Basically, we had we had to work in uh, in groups of four. And we had to present a thesis on uh, media culture and, and analyze it. And we came up with, um, we came up with conflict, uh, conflict resolution in children's cartoons. And so we watched a handful of episodes from a handful of different cartoons, see how they resolve the conflicts in the episodes. And uh, those cartoons were Scooby Doo, Pokemon. Batman Beyond and I think Arthur was the other one. It was it was one of those PBS shows. We had to analyze how different shows tied different conflict resolutions. Spoiler alert. Um, three of the five uh, conflict resolutions were handled with violence. Gargoyles. See, so I never watched uh, Gargoyles back when it was on, but when Disney Plus first came out, I was like, okay, now's my chance to watch the show. I know everyone was talking about when I was a kid, and I really like it. I, I binged through the first season. I got a few episodes in the second season, then stopped. I just, like, nothing against it. It was just like there's too much on my plate and just kind of got put to the side. But thank you for the reminder, Cito. I got to get back into Gargoyles. I'll just restart season two. Scooby-Doo and Scrappy-Doo, absolutely. Scrappy-Doo is one of those characters that the older I got, the more annoying he got. It's because of his music is why he left? Okay. Hunt Cherubi. Good luck, Reeves. I'm sorry you're having trouble with Audino. Reeves, do you have, uh, do you have, uh, capability of getting Audino in a friend safari? 13 Ghosts of Scooby-Doo. That was a good series, Phantom. I like that one. That one had, uh, I think, I think Vincent Price was in that, wasn't he? That was probably the first, like, or the earliest serialized cartoon I can remember. That was, like, that was, like, mind-blowing to me as a little kid. That I could watch a cartoon that had an ongoing story episode by episode. I'd actually kind of like to go back and rewatch 13 Ghosts of Scooby-Doo. I mean, I haven't seen it since I was a kid. And I probably didn't even see the episodes in order. But I just remember, like, watching, they catch the ghost, and they'd be like, all right, this is number six. There's seven more. It's, like, mind-blowing. Scooby-Doo movies were a fun watch. I thought they did a really good job with the casting. Reading Rainbow. Good old LeVar Burton. Butterfly in the sky. I can fly twice as high. Take a look, it's in a book, reading rainbow. Here we go, check 100 on each, 200 total. Not shiny, what the heck? I wanted to have that, that that cold Sakai luck. Didn't get it. What's up, JJ? Mr. Wizard. I remember Mr. Wizard. Um, How about Beekman's World? Does anybody remember Beekman's World? Tyler Shanks, what's going on? Thank you for the six months of membership. See, when I was a kid uh, in my, like, like 
10, 11, 12. Everybody was watching Bill and I, the science guy, and I was watching uh, Bill and I, the science guy, Walmart knockoff, Beekman's World. You have one normal safari that you don't know the spawns of. I could be in there. I think, I don't think, I think it's, I think it's, uh, hold on a second. I'll be right back. Yeah, Audino, Audino is a second slot Pokemon. It's not in the third slot. So at least uh, at least you got get that going for you. So you do have the possibility of getting it. Oh yeah, Wishbone, the Jesuit Deck Russell Terrier. I remember that. Magic School Bus. We learned a lot on that school bus, didn't we? Eric, good morning. Happy 20th of April to you, my friend. Do you have any big plans for today? Leon is one on your bingo card. There you go. Yeah, I, I, I phased on another safari hunt yesterday before stream. So our friend safari with Sunkern and uh, Swadloon. Tried my best to, I'm trying my best to get that dang Sunkern. I don't want to Masuda it in Scarlet and Violet. And of course I phased on Swadloon. Uh, not for the first time did I phase. I phased on a Pan Sage in a different uh, uh, friend safari a few weeks back, and last week I phased on an Ivysaur. 9099 era TV was the best it will ever be. I loved TV back in the 90s a lot. I mean, there's there's great there's still great stuff today, but uh, oh my gosh, Eureka's Castle! I do remember that. That was like Nickelodeon's version of Sesame Street. I do remember that. The community uh, uh, day in Pogo, that's it. Nice, Eric. I got to do that, too. I got to get myself two bell sprouts. Even the ads were good back then. You guys ever just, like, fall down a YouTube rabbit hole and you end up watching, like, a video of old ads? Cracks me up. They were so good. They're so good. How about that Cadbury Easter egg uh, commercial? The same one they've been using for like 30 years. I remember that commercial when I was a little kid when they're trying out new mascots and you have like the chicken and the lion with the, with the bunny ears on. They've been using that commercial since like the mid 80s. The goldfish ads back when they were something, snack and smiles back. Voltron, Voltron was really good. Yeah, Dave's archive. I know what you're talking about, Cheese. I do know what you're talking about. Yeah, exactly, Tyler Shanks. You know they did that on purpose. It's 420. It's community for Bellsprout, which is a grass type Pokemon, and its dex number is 69. Farfetch your false swiper? No, that's not embarrassing. Uh, Farfetch is a good false swiper, especially if you have a keen eye farfetched. Uh, that'll help you out against Pokemon that can uh, lower your accuracy. Loudred and Lillipop. Dang. Uh, also, by the way, my good friend uh, Experiment 221 uh, did an experiment with me the other day. I was a little shocked by this. You can still add friends to your friend Safari. Now, I'm assuming you'll never be able to un unlock the third slot, but Experiment and I exchanged friend codes on, I think, Wednesday? Maybe Thursday. We exchanged friend codes on Thursday, and we now have each other as friends in the Friend Safari. So... I don't know what's up with that. I guess they don't consider that using the online services. But uh, you can still add friends and friend safaris.
is very interesting. I don't know if it's an oversight. Uh, oversight? I don't know if it's an oversight. I don't know if it's just because... Because I've, I've often wondered this. Like, I can understand Nintendo shutting down online services that Nintendo provides. But I always, in the back of my head, was thinking... Does that mean it's going to basically brick the 3DS? I mean, the 3DS itself has, has the capability of connecting to the internet. What it does on the internet is something different, but it should still have the capability of connecting to a Wi-Fi network, because that's internal. Old school Transformers was good. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I still remember watching the uh, the old school Transformers movie, and Optimus Prime getting killed, and my my world shattered. Also, they said the D word in that movie, which blew me away. The not dang the other one. A little bit of my innocence died that day watching the Transformers movie. Was it 85? Cheese, was that 85 or 86? I feel like you would know. I don't know if anybody in the chat has a um, has a normal friend safari, but oh, you found someone sweet. Awesome news. Uh, look at it this way. Nintendo ID is tied to your 3DS account. Nintendo ID is a part of the greater network and coded together. So unless they shut down the Switch friends, it must be able to persist. That's true. That's true. Uh, no, it's funny, uh, Phantom. I heard about that. I had, I didn't even know they were doing that movie until yesterday. I heard someone, I think, in Chemstream mention it. And then my dad uh, texted me this morning and asked if I watched the trailer yet. So I'll be doing that this afternoon. In seven days, you find out your sleep animal. That's cool. Mine would probably be like a sloth. What type of animal falls asleep almost immediately when it's time for bed, but when it wakes up, They've thrown the uh, the comforter and the sheets like all over to the point where basically it's impossible to make the like you have to make the bed from scratch every single day. I would be that animal. Every single morning, like all the sheets are, are untucked and everything. I don't know what I'm doing in my sleep. Apparently I'm having a good time because... It's just a mess. I, I feel bad for anyone that ever shares a bed with me. You're going to be lurking while playing Minecraft? Sounds good, Tyler Shanks. Enjoy. Yeah, but Kieran, like, the crazy thing is that I sleep soundly. Like, I typically never wake up in the middle of the night. Um, but... Yeah, it's just... I just destroy my bed every night. Love the thumbnail every time. We can thank Shinies for that, Clocky. And good morning, my friend. How are you? 13's your lucky number. Nice. Let's get some hype for Clocky. 13 months. It's amazing. Thanks for news. You're welcome, Reeves. Oh, you're being serious. You're talking about the friend safaris. I thought you were being sarcastic about my, you know, me telling you about my sleep habits. Uh, yeah, I guess I am just a rambunctious sleeper. I don't know. Like, I sleep really well. I don't wake up in the middle of the night usually. Nothing like that. I get solid sleep. I just, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to need someone to watch me and tell me. But yeah, if you guys didn't hear uh, what Reeves and I were just talking about, which surprised me a lot, is uh, 
apparently you can still exchange friend codes on the Nintendo 3DS and get friend safaris in X and Y. I would assume that uh, the third slot will always remain closed, but you can at least get those first two slots. That's right, JJ. Yeah, I don't know what it is, Clocky. I don't know what it is. Um, yeah, I mean, if you if you mod, you can. I mean, if you if you if you mod your system, like you can basically do whatever you want. But I mean, I just mean as far as we'll say without any external finagling. Clocky, I love it when you talk dirty to Razzy like that. Wonder if they'll bring back the French Safari. Oh, that's interesting, Phantom. That would be an interesting idea. I mean, I would love for them to bring back French Safaris, and it would kind of make sense if they were going to do it. Doing it in a game that takes place in Kalos would make the most sense. Interesting concept. Finally, thank you, Razzy. It's never made sense to me. Like, I mean, if anybody ever wants to add me as a friend on their Switch, I'm like, yeah, sure, not a problem. That's fine. But really, outside of Mario Kart, uh, I've never found a reason to be friends with someone on the Switch. And when I say outside of Mario Kart, I just mean that it makes it a little bit easier that when I fire up Mario Kart, I can just see what friends are online and jump in right from there instead of having to, like, you know, put in a code or, you know, whatever else. Um, I mean, there have been times where, like, let's say, I don't know, let's say, uh, Mario Kart had a lobby. Yeah, exactly. So you don't, you don't even need it for Mario Kart. It's just something that I'm used to. Like, let's say, let's say Clocky streaming Mario Kart, and I'm not friends with Clocky on, uh, the Nintendo Switch, but Amber is in the race with him, and Amber is my friend. I can fire up Mario Kart. I can see that Amber is playing. I can just click on that and jump into the uh, to the lobby. Find out soon enough you're excited for the game you never played X and Y before. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, I really liked X and Y. I totally get what people say about it being an unfinished generation. I agree with that. It did feel a little bare bones. It did feel like there was some missing content, but. Um, but I still enjoyed it. I liked I liked the game. I liked the story. Um, great shiny hunting in it. Uh, it definitely does feel like there should have been a third game, though. Uh, your shiny only run, Shiny Pearl, has been popping off. Shiny, you got Shiny Starling 956. Nice, Clocky. I was lurking in your stream. I think it was Thursday. I think it was Thursday when you were doing that. Uh, you were running around the first uh, the first route, looking at uh, Starlies and Bedus and uh, and Shinx, and I think you were like six hundred something when I was in there. That's awesome! Congratulations, bud. So you got the Piplup and uh, the Starly, right? Is it just those two, or am I missing something? So, you know, you're going to get it. You're going to get it before a thousand. Or my name is not Walker, Texas Ranger. Uh, Orberg Mines next. Nice. So what we got there? We got, I think we got Onyx. We got. What else is down there? It's probably not even Onyx. I can't, I can't, I'm, I'm, I'm blanking on any rock types at all other than the fossils in Gen 4 at the moment. Machop, uh, okay, Geodude, yep, Geodude, yep, that's right. And Zubat, yeah, I mean, 
if you're going to be in a place that has Geodude, you're going to have Zubat as well. It feels like that. Geodude and Zubat, the, you can always count on them. Yeah, that, yeah. Machop, Onyx, Geodude, Zubat. That makes sense. Any one of those four clocky you're hoping for more than the other? No Machops? Okay, just Onyx, Geodude, and Zubat. So out of, out of those three, which one would you be happiest with? Come on, game. Machops on the right above. Okay. Geodude, you guess? I think that's a good choice. You'll be working on some good type coverage there, too, because then, like, eventually you'll have water, steel, normal flying, uh, and, uh, and rock ground. Um, and Star I love Starly. Starly used to be my favorite uh, Route 1 bird until um, uh, Fletchling because Staraptors got amazing attack and it can learn close combat, which is incredible. Emily, hello, good to see you. Crobat's awesome too. I do like Crobat a lot. Clocky gifted membership and Kieran sniping it up. Good morning, Rolanda. Yeah, Bell Sprout Community Day. I got to get two. Uh, I got to get two for uh, the decks today. I already have one. You hit your British wife. Shouldn't do that. Fourteen hundred. Oh my gosh, Phantom! It's got to be coming soon, right? Yeah, and it's got Intimidate. So, Intimidate, normal flying with uh, with close combat, Chef's Kiss. That thing stayed on my team the entire run of, like, every one of my Gen 4 games. It was vicious. Where are my Reckless Star Raptor fans at? Reckless? Which one is Reckless? I get Reckless and Hustle confused. It's like Huckle increases attack but lowers accuracy. What does Reckless do? Remind me. Boost damage of recoil moves. Okay, so for things like, does it get Brave Bird? I'm assuming it gets Brave Bird. And I believe it gets uh, Take Down and Double Edge. All of which would be super, uh, would be Stab. Yeah, okay, yep. Thanks again, Clocky, for the uh, gifted membership. All right, Cranky Bug is still winning 47% of the vote. And Gooey Helmet has 47% of the vote, too. So they're tied. And only 6% of you are saying, lol, no. And more with Reckless is good with Flare Blitz. Yeah, that would be really good, wouldn't it, Cold? Clocky, I can't believe it. 1,776 checks and got the Shiny Celebi. That's insane. I think mine took 7,000-something. I did get mine under odds. But not by a lot. I want to say it was like 7,400 something. That would be hilarious. A Pokemon that has that ability but no recoil moves. Like can't learn any. That would be mean. I'd be like, there is, what is it? There's, there is one ability. Kind of like what you're saying, Ari. There's, I think there's one Pokemon that has an ability, but because of its moveset, it can't take advantage of the ability. I can't remember what that is. Carly May, what is going on? Good to see you. Yeah, Rockhead, you take no recoil damage, which is great for uh, things like uh, Marowak. 
And uh, I think, is that, is Rockhead the hidden ability for Ramparados? I want to say. It makes sense, right? Long time no talk, Carly. Hope your uh, day's been well. Sheer Force. Don't you guys think Ram Parados should have Rockhead, though? Like, that's literally its thing. Airy Berry, I hope you're doing well. And Mold Breaker. It doesn't even have Rockhead. What an oversight. Look at all these amazing people we have in chat today. What an honor it is to be able to talk to all y'all every Saturday and Sunday morning. you stop it you know how how much i appreciate you we've had this conversation before you're having a rough morning you got the worst sleep ever i'm sorry airy everyone is awesome everyone is cool when you're part of a team you misspelled should and wanted to autocorrect to payouts what the hefty You went to an amusement park yesterday. Very cool, Mystic Emerald. Did you ride some rides? Did you eat some cotton candy? Ah, uh, it was my pleasure, Reeves. My pleasure. You rode a roller coaster that's 325 feet tall. That's insane. That's so tall. We have uh, an amusement park about 45 minutes away from where I am. It's, uh, I don't know how to describe it. Like a mom and pop amusement park. I don't know what would you call it. it it's, it's like locally owned. It's not like a franchise. It's not like a uh, Six Flags or a Disney or anything like that. Uh, but we have um, uh, an amusement park about 45 uh, minutes away. And apparently for like small amusement parks, it's won a lot of awards for like best roller coaster in America, things like that. Um, I'll just tell you. I mean, it's 45 minutes away. Good luck trying to find me if you go there. But, uh, yeah, about 45 minutes away from where I live is a music park called Knobles, just like it's uh, spelled in the chat there. I usually go there, like, uh, once every summer. Um, it's my second uh, full-on 3DS friends. It is at the moment, uh, Reese. Oh, wait, second. Um... No, no, Reeves, Reeves. Wait, 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 Reeves, because... Wait. Which... Which... Which safari do you have? I can't remember which... Um, I can't remember which system we did the trades on. Do you have... Did I give you the psychic safari or the ghost safari? called uh, Carowinds. Okay. So you had a fun time then? I am. I'm a vampire in Pennsylvania. Absolutely, JJ.
regardless, Reeves, e even even if the one that you don't have, if I, if my friends list is full, I can get rid of somebody. Uh, a lot of those friends I got back when I was doing safari hunting like three years ago, and I don't need them anymore. I got I got a lot of safaris that there's nothing in the safari that I need, so I can I just gotta look at it and see you know which ones I can give up, and I could certainly get rid of one and add you. You have Psychic. Okay, all right, so I already did that. I already got rid of someone on my full Switch, or my full 3DS to add you. So yeah, I got plenty of room on the other, on the other one. The other one's a Ghost Safari that has, um, uh, Phantom, Shuppet, and Golurk. Yeah, we can certainly set that up. Yeah, Reeves, absolutely. When you grow up, you want to be a solar eclipse. I hope you're able to achieve that dream, Mystic Emerald. All right, I think we're going to take it to 150, and then I'm going to take a little break. I think we can get to... I think we can get to 250 today. I think... Um, I think that's what uh, we did last week. I think we ended on 250 last Saturday. Solar Eclipse of the Heart. I like that, JJ. It's a good song. I'll get to 149 get the shiny. Could you imagine? If we do get the shiny, we'll probably go back to double. We left off at 404. 404 error, shiny not found. We'll have to set that up. Also, if the shelmet shines, I gotta remember to change the date on the switch before I catch it. You can have up to 100 friends on your 3DS Reeves. So on, on the 3DS that I already have you on, I have a full 100. And on the other one, I think I'm at 80-something. Wait, why what, Keith? Wait, why what? Uh, no wonder you felt worse. Uh, as you got up to dog tourist, air quality is almost hazardous. Oh no, I'm sorry, Airy. Guess what happened? Uh, uh, something new happened in Brahalla. Oh, for the date change? Oh, because I'm anal retentive, Keith, and I like for my shinies when I catch them to have the actual date of when I catch them. So while I changed the date in order to get the Shelmet to spawn in this particular spot, I think the date's set for like Wednesday or Thursday, something like that. So when I'm in the battle, I can go back out to the Switch, change the date to today's date, and then when I catch it, it will have the caught date of today. You finally got the Shelf of Low Punny. Congratulations. Crit the Ralts. Is it possible for Wally to crit the Ralts? Is that is that a thing? Is it possible for Wally to KO the Ralts? Named him Milo? Nice. Well, congratulations on the Shalfa. That's awesome. All right, here we go. Check 150. Fifth Shalfa. Very nice. Steelix, Crobat, Blissey, and Ponyta. That's a good That's a good batch right there. All right, no shiny. Uh, all right, I'm going to take off for a few minutes. Uh, feel free to hang out, listen to music, chit-chat with each other, dance, do whatever you want to do. 
Uh, I'll be back in a few minutes. And uh, Keith is in charge. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Thank you, Keith, for being a uh, responsible adult. Let's, uh, let's get back into it. Sunlight in the wild areas make all the trees look shiny. Ooh, that stinks. Ah, oh, thank you, Intelligence. Wait, the wild area in uh, uh, Sword and Shield? I'm just running into all of them. Hola, Sarah. How are you? Thank you, Reeves. Sarah, did you get some sleeps? I said Sarah, not Siri, phone. 
Oh, it's a berry tree. Okay, gotcha. It's a berry tree encounter. So it pops. I gotcha. You enter the battle, and for a second, you think it's shiny until there's no sparkles. Froki, thank you for the Kirk Lurks. You're at work right now? Uh, I'm sorry, Sarah. Stinky. Let's see here. Is Cranky Bug still tied? No, Cranky Bug has taken the lead. You doing the challenge of Brawlhalla? You have to win a match with each legend in the ranked queue. Oh, good luck with that, Ghost Bunny. Razzy, I'm still thinking about Rigatoni. Vegan chocolate kind of slaps. Okay, I have a dumb question. I'm sure I'm going to get laughed at for asking this question. What makes regular vegan chocolate not... Or what makes regular chocolate not vegan? Because it comes from the cocoa bean, right? Oh, milk, duh, milk. Gotcha. I told you, I, I told you I'd be dumb. Uh, rigatoni with some delicious meatballs would be a great dinner. It would be a great dinner. Razzy, I never ended up getting that Italian for dinner last Sunday. I ended up getting Taco Bell. Yeah, I knew that goes funny. I just blanked that there was milk and chocolate. I mean, I know there's milk and milk chocolate, but... I'd forgotten it's an all chocolate. So what do they use to replace the milk in vegan chocolate? What's my order? Typically, Razzy, um, it's funny because you know how I hang out with uh, my friend Katie every week and sometimes she, uh, she picks up Taco Bell. If I'm ordering, like if I'm going to Taco Bell, I usually get the uh, two chalupa meal with the, uh, with the hard shell taco uh, and, and a drink. Uh, if she's picking up, she gets me one of those like uh, value meal boxes that comes with, um, uh, comes with a, a chalupa, a uh, bean burrito, and a soft shell taco. Well, thank you, Sarah. Thank you for understanding my stupidity. I appreciate you. But, I mean, there's not really anything at Taco Bell I wouldn't eat. Uh, you know, the Mexican pizzas are good. The crunch wraps are good. Um, back in the day, way back in the day, when I was in high school, my girlfriend worked at a Taco Bell. And so I hung out there a lot, you know, for obvious reasons. And I would just devour like a ton of Mexi melts. I don't know if anybody remembers the Mexi melts. They were basically a soft shell taco that was uh, melted. Like, so it had like, you know, melted cheese and, and beef and all lovely gooiness. And it was, you know, wrapped up like a um, kind of like a burrito, but smaller. And they were like 99 cents. I get like five of them. Soy milk. Okay, that makes sense. I love soft tacos so much. I do too. You don't like the uh, Middle Evo Sino starters in PLA? We were talking about that last night. I think someone said that Prinplup was the worst Middle Evo. I do like Grottle. The uh, Torchwig Grottle Torterra line is my favorite starter in the uh, in the Sinnoh region. Never had tacos. Sarah, when I come visit you, we're going to make some tacos. Yeah, the value menu nachos to your order. So good and cheap. Oh, yeah. That that nacho cheese sauce they have there, too. I don't, I don't care if it comes out of a can. I don't care if it comes out of a bucket. I don't care if it comes out of a bag. I love that nacho cheese sauce they have. Oh, specifically the ones in PLA? What, uh, what they're... Uh... Oh, because they're angry. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Kind of like how I used to not really have an opinion on Paris, and now I can't stand it. 
I love the uh, the nacho fries. I love it when they bring uh, bring in the nacho fries. Chicken quesadillas are good. Yeah, I don't know, JJ. It could it could be absolute garbage. That's the thing. That's the thing. Let, let me let me get on my soapbox here for a second. I understand that quality wise, ingredient wise, there are certain foods and certain restaurants that have better quality than other restaurants and may have lower quality. I understand that. But ultimately, what I care about is what tastes good to me. And so there's a lot of what other people would say would call garbage food that I really enjoy. And I know it's not high quality. I know if I go to Taco Bell, I'm not getting authentic quality Mexican cuisine. I realize that. But you know what? My taste buds don't care. They still enjoy it. Oh, the actual nachos, the toppings and everything. I love a good uh, good plate of nachos with all the with all the fixins on it. Exactly, Sarah. Yeah, Geometry Dash. That's what we're talking about, Reeves. I still haven't played that game. I remember there was a while. I think it was last year. I had a lot of people coming into the stream asking me if I played Geometry Dash. And I'm thinking, whoever made Geometry Dash is brilliant because they finally made a way for kids to enjoy geometry. Like, I, I've had this conversation with a very good friend of mine that may or may not be in the chat, but I don't want to uh, single them out. I've had this conversation about how, like, yes, by and large, locally owned pizza places are where you should go if you want the best quality pizza. But sometimes I'm just in the mood for a freaking Domino's pizza or a Papa John's pizza, and I'm not going to apologize for it. It's just familiar. It's comfortable. I know what I'm getting. Is it the best pizza? No, but it satisfies the, the urge, the need. Domino's, a garlic butter crust is peak. I do like Domino's. I mean, I like all of them. Domino's, Papa John's, uh, Pizza Hut. They all have their their pros and cons. Uh, but, you know, sometimes I'm also in the mood for a locally owned uh, pizza place to make some banging pizzas. Thank you, Ari. On this rant that no one initiated. That's, that's, that's kind of my thing, Ari. What happens is I see other people have these discussions and other chats and I stay quiet because I'm too meek and shy to give my opinion but when I'm streaming I can say whatever I want so I just I let these these thoughts build up for the week and then I just spew them all out at all of you even though you didn't ask for it making pancakes making bacon pancakes what's going on Froki? What about Charizard? You're a dorb, Sroki. Look at your little frog body. Now I got an image of a Froki eating a pancake, and it's the cutest thing ever. Oh, you started a war on it yesterday. You have no regrets. Looking around for the cruel monster that made me feel uh, bad about enjoying Tex-Mex food. No. No. It's just, I mean, you know what I'm talking about, though. I can't remember the last time I've gone into a live stream, and at some point during the stream, something has come up about, like, you know, Taco Bell isn't real Mexican food, or Subway is garbage, or... You know, my favorite, my favorite is when, like, and like I'm not saying it's happened here in this stream with me, but like, let's say I said, oh man, I can't wait until after stream, I'm going to go get a sub from Jersey Mike's. And someone says, Jersey Mike's is trash. Go get firehouse subs. It's like, okay, well, maybe I would if I had a firehouse subs around here, but I don't. 
that always cracks me up when someone says you shouldn't eat that. You should eat from this other place, and it's a place that you don't have. Or like, you know, I'm gonna go grab a, you know, baconator from Wendy's. Oh, that sucks. Go to In-N-Out. Well, I don't live in California, so no. With your little froggy body, exactly, Froki. Exactly. Food's food. Most plant-based food is disgusting, but you actually like plant-based ramen. I'm glad you do. I, I like I like plant-based food. I enjoy salads. I know I talk a lot about fast food and junk food, but I do really enjoy salads as well. <laughs> Maybe if I would, if I had money. Oh my gosh. Freaking, freaking uh, Five Guys. Five Guys makes amazing burgers. I really enjoy them. But I don't like how if a friend of mine and I go out to Five Guys and we get two bacon cheeseburgers, two sodas, and share a fry, it's like 30-something bucks. Uh, if you know the community rule, if you have unsavory opinions, you'll eventually be ostracized and pushed out. Exactly. I still have this theory. Bacon Caesar salad, that sounds good. I still have this theory that all these things... Pineapple on pizza is a hot dog a sandwich. Um, uh, Messi or Ronaldo, like all these things is because in this social media world that we have, bringing up a conversation that will lead to passionate opinions is a way to increase the, um, uh, increase the, uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Um, I'm blanking on a simple word. It gets more people talking, right? It, it, it gets more people involved uh, because people love talking about things that they're passionate about and they love arguing for things that they're passionate about. Getting a lot of use today, Razzy. A whole bunch. Maybe I should get off it before it breaks. Yeah, I mean, I love Five Guys. I love Five Guys. I just don't love the price. You only eat authentic, locally sourced, GMO-free, organic, extrapolated, non-homogenous, chlorofluorocarbon-free delicacies. Sounds delicious, Airy. Reeves, take care, buddy. Interaction. Engagement. Those were the words I was looking for. Interaction and engagement. Passionate, divisive conversations. A lot of big words being thrown around today. Now I'm hungry for rigatoni and meatballs. Get nourishment. Lucky you, Aerie. This whole conversation has got me hungry now. Stomach's growling. All right, we're going to get to 250. That's where we're going to call it. We're going to call it at 250 if nothing shines before then. I hope you guys are enjoying these hunts. I'm having a lot of fun with these. Um, the only soft reset hunt I ever did in Sword and Shield was right before Scarlet and Violet came out. I did a hunt on stream for a Dragapult, and that was a lot of fun. But then Scarlet and Violet came out, and we did that for a whole bunch of time. And then we... Uh, we did uh, Arceus, and then we did Mew, and then we did Reggie Drago, and then three years later I got the Reggie Drago, and uh, that was just in time for the Scarlet and Violet DLCs to come out. So I'm at the point now where I was like, you know what, I want to do more of those. There's a whole bunch of Wanderers, as they're officially called, I've learned now, thank you Razzie. Uh, a bunch of wanderers I need in Premier Ball, so I want to start doing these. And the other week, I started doing these off stream. I got like six or seven of them uh, in the course of the week, and I really liked it. So I figured, you know what? I want to stream these. And that's why we're doing it.
1420. Oh my goodness, Phantom. You are a little bit over odds, but I hope I hope it pops before 1650. I'm going to say 1650. Yeah, after the Reggie Drago, we did a bunch of Dynamax Adventures. We did Zygarde. We did uh, Necrozma. We did Solgaleo. And then we did Lele for quite a while. But then I got burnt out. Anyone that's been around the channel for a while knows my feelings on Dynamax Adventures. And I think we just did too many Dynamax Adventures in a row. Um, and uh, I was I needed a break from that. You heading out now? Good luck on the hunts. Enjoy your Saturday. You too, McTelligence. Thank you for being here. I think I might try and work on Oshawa and Cyndaquil this weekend. I still need to get uh still need to get three Cyndaquil and two Oshawats from Indigo Disc. Like the good thing is I'm happy to be enjoying these streams doing these uh these soft reset hunts with you guys. The bad thing is that means I can't play uh, Sword and Shield when I'm not streaming. Um, so I gotta look for other things to play. I'll probably do some more uh, Princess Peach Showtime as well. I think I only got probably like six or seven more levels to doing that. Hey, bud, sorry I couldn't be there last night. We're in Toronto this weekend, missing your family. How many shinies did you give away? Shinies, a good morning to you. Uh, in about four hours and 15 minutes, we gave away approximately 120 shinies. It went a lot slower than I thought uh, it would. I, I genuinely thought we'd be able to get through the majority of those 600 last night. I was sorely mistaken. So we're going to be doing more of those streams in the future. Uh, we did give away a handful of legendaries, though. Uh, we gave away Reggie Rock, Reshi Ram, Articuno, Thunderous, and a GameStop 2011 giveaway, Raikou. Plus a whole bunch of other things. And everyone is being very nice shinies, even though I specifically asked them not to. A whole bunch of people gave me shinies. Uh, including one from Carly May, a shiny hop-hip named Turnip in a quick ball that I will treasure for the rest of my life. But uh, it went well. We got some amazing raids. We got a Razzy raid. We got a 501st Pokemon Legion raid. We got an Ember the Painter raid. And we got a dual raid from Zed Games and Frosty Lemon. Uh, and ended up getting... About 14 subs out of it, which is pretty cool. Uh, now you've been hunting and selling Pokemon games. Uh, yes, I do know that. I'm one might say that I'm familiar with the idea that you've been selling Pokemon games. Shinies gave me this game for three dollars. Uh, one of the things, uh, you're going to keep one Pokemon from every cartridge you buy that still has a save file. You got really lucky with Black 2, a, legi a legitimate event Genesect. Oh, sweet. Sweet shiny. So, yeah, not 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 shiny, but you actually have a Genesect now. It, so that's that's awesome. Congratulations. Yeah, three bucks. That's how much it costs. Oh, that reminds me, Froakie. Froakie, don't go anywhere.
I actually uh, got two games from Shinies. I got Explorers for the Sky, uh, and it was not uh, it was not three dollars. I was joking about that. Um, but the other game I got, Froki, Mario and Luigi: Bowser's Inside Story. Uh, I just have your OT though, uh, so you have two choices. Deal with it and have 99% of your Pokemon with your OT or two. Change your name to Nathan, so Genesec will have the OT. I think you should go with the uh, the latter option. Yep, I finally got it for Oki. I figured you'd be happy. When, uh, when, when Shinies was telling me which games he had available to buy, and I saw that one, I was like, oh, I gotta grab that. I haven't started it yet, but I will. My dear friend Froakster uh, told me back when I was playing Super Mario RPG on stream that it was a really fun game that I would enjoy. Will I stream it? Unfortunately, I can't, uh, Froakster. I, uh, I don't have the capability of uh, streaming my 3DS. But uh, I will tell you all about it. You have the saddest uh, snack ever. What do you have, Airy? I bet I can beat you. But let's hear it. I'll have chortles. Might have to go see a doctor if that happens. Salted canned mushrooms straight out of the can. That, okay, that is not the happiest snack in the world. It does sound kind of yummy though. I do like mushrooms. Uh, back when I first got out of college and I was living on my own for the first time and didn't have a lot of money, uh, if I was hungry, sometimes for dinner, I would make myself a uh, homemade tuna melt. And what I mean by homemade tuna melt is a hamburger bun that I opened a can of tuna and put on the bun. Uh, actually, no, I'm sorry. Open a can of tuna, put it in a bowl, put in a spoonful of mayonnaise into the, uh, the tuna, a spoonful of relish into the tuna, mix it all up, put it onto the bun with a slice of American cheese and put it in the microwave for 45 seconds. That is the ghettoest tuna melt ever. Oh, very nice, JJ. It's definitely a potsy snack. I do love mushrooms. Everything but the American cheese sounds great. Storms, can't say day, but good luck. Thank you so much for the luck, Storms. AKA Bean. Hope you have a great day. wonder if it's a northern thing, especially in New York. Could be. I mean, tuna melts are definitely a thing. I did not make a, a proper tuna melt by any any means. Good American cheese is different from Kraft, though. Oh, I'm sorry. If I said American cheese, I meant the individually wrapped Kraft slices. That's, that's what I meant. An individually wrapped Kraft slice. Bacon wrapped dates that were stuffed with manchego cheese and glazed spicy honey and topped with chives. So basically the same, exactly. Basically the same thing. That's a good question, Cheese. That sounds like something that Chinese should be able to do. Cheese Whiz Sandwich? Is it literally just Cheese Whiz on two pieces of bread? Or is there anything else on it, Froki? Just personal choice? That's fair. I understand that.
with potato chips in the Sammy. Oh my gosh, I have had sandwiches a few times with potato chips in them. It's an interesting thing. Biting through that soft bread and hitting that crunch of the chip. You know, I'm trying to remember. It's been so long. It's been so many years since Genesect came out. Not shiny, just regular. Was there... Could you get an OT? Or was it... Was, was it did, did it have an event-specific OT? Sad snack was canned water chestnuts out of the can. Didn't have pop lid and didn't have a can opener, so you took a chef's knife to it. Oh my gosh, Ari, that is a little sad. I'm not going to lie. You love Cheese Whiz Sammy's? I've never had it. Tyler Shanks, thank you for the Kirklords. Yeah, you got me wondering now, Shinies. Um, you got me wondering about this Genesect. Hold on a second, I want to check. Oh, it was an event-specific OT of the Nathan was a joke. Come on, Shinies, what are you doing? You, I, I was that close to actually going in home and checking the OT on my Genesect. What are you doing to me? I think I might have... I know I've gotten a few Genesects over the years. I think I, I definitely have one. I think I might still have a second one. Because I got, I got the original Genesect when it was first released in Gen 5, and then during Pokemon's 20th anniversary... They had a thing at GameStop where every month they would re-release an old mythical. And I managed to get all of those on both systems. So I think I gave one Genesect to my friend. Uh, so I should have I should still have the original Genesect and one of the two anniversary ones I got. If we are, I know this is a big if, I know this is a huge if, but just bear with me, guys. If we are able to shiny hunt a mythical Pokemon in either Legends ZA or Gen 10, any previous mythical Pokemon, but you can only pick one, what one mythical Pokemon do you, you want to be able to hunt? Like, for example, we could Arceus, Dark Ryan, Shaman in uh, BDSP. Which one uh, Which one would you choose? Just said, uh, just said she doesn't find Jim Carrey funny. What do I do? Move down here. Rooms ready. Just move down here now. Pack up. Genesect, Zero Aura, Bikini, Vibrava. Good choice, Ari. Ari, I was organizing my boxes the other day to get ready for the giveaway stream. And when I found the extra Vibrava, I saw it and I just went, heh, Harry. The mythical Razzie. Oh my gosh. I think that's that's what everyone wants to hunt. I think for me, it would probably be Volcanion. I just, I've talked about it before. I'm a sucker for yellow shinies. Yellow, pink, and blue shinies are my favorites. The change on Volcanion is just so insane. And it's yellow. Like, I definitely want to hunt that thing. Of course, I want all of them. But I think Volcanion would be the top of my list. But I do think... You know, Mighty Munchkin said Victini. I do think that if you're going in generation order... Victini is the first legendary Pokemon that there has never been any way to hunt. There's been a couple ways to get Mew. There's been a couple ways to get Celebi. Uh, Deoxys, uh, you could get an Emerald, Fire Rider, Leaf Green. Uh, Jirachi, if you want to go through the nonsense, uh, you can get that through... Um, uh, back in the day, you get through Pokemon Channel, or uh, you can get through the bonus disc, Coliseum bonus disc. Uh, 
Arceus, uh, Dark Ryan Shaman, obviously, you can get in BDSP. Manaphy, you can get through the Ranger Hunt. I think Victini is the first mythical that has never had any option of getting. Uh, white Sauce, is that... You're talking about Alfredo Sauce? Yeah, I think Alfredo on Seafood Medley would be a good choice. Hoopa? Hoopa's pretty cool. I like the, the golden color it turns. Yeah, I think Alfredo makes sense on, on seafood. Hoopa Unbound. Ari, have you seen how humongous Hoopa Unbound is in Scarlet and Violet? It's insane how large it is. Cheese on fish? I do not like cheese on fish. I don't. With the one exception being a, t a good tuna melt. Ari, I'm going to have to send you a picture. I got to do that today. It's crazy. I like Alfredo on shellfish. Yeah, I mean, I look, I never said that my opinions make sense. They just are my opinions. They are my tastes. It's not so much necessarily a an issue with I don't like how cheese on fish tastes. It's the concept of cheese on fish I have an issue with. I can't exactly explain why. I just don't like the concept of cheese on fish. You have a bunch of Pokemon you need to move uh, from bank to home. Yeah, yeah, I just did a, a big move a couple weeks ago. Um, and now I'm at the point where I'm trying to basically, whenever I catch something on 3DS, transfer it up as soon as possible. I am not worried about bank closing anytime soon. I think we have, like, I obviously I don't know, I could be 100% wrong, but my, my guess is that we'll have bank at least until Legends ZA comes out. With the idea being that we will get the last, uh, what, eight no nine the last nine pokemon currently not available on the switch in any game those nine will be in legends za and once that happens where you can get uh of course i'm not including mythicals but once you can get all pokemon on the switch that would make the most sense for me as to when they will discontinue bank service that said um i don't like that having that in the back of my mind as a worry or a concern. So now I'm just in the, I'm in the mindset of whenever I catch something on 3DS, I just shoot it up to uh, to home as soon as possible. Hefty mom, what's going on? Hope you're doing well. We're going for two bugs today, Hefty mom. One looks like a beetle. The other one looks kind of like a snail, snail in a helmet. We're gonna see which one shines first. We've checked a total of 414 Pokemon so far, 207 of each. This is a 1 in 1,365 odds hunt, so we're almost, almost a third of the way with uh, 416 checks. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. You're going to pull weeds after you finish your coffee. You love pulling weeds. Pulling weeds is your favorite thing to do.
Ari, I got a question for you. I swear I smell um I smell pasta sauce. I smell red sauce. I don't know why. You're a weed woman, that's right. Uh Ari, when I start Explorers of Sky, what Pokemon should I choose to be me? I don't even know what the choices are to be honest. Thank you all for hanging out here. This is always such a great way to start my weekend mornings. Hanging out with all you wonderful people. I'm looking for a shiny. You always go Vulpix because it learns Confuse Ray, which is uh, broken for boss fights, but you really love uh, being Torchic, and your partner would be M a Mudkip or Piplop. Okay. Hmm. Hmm, <laughs> hmm, Yeah, when I play the... Uh, I mean, it's been years since I played a Mystery Dungeon game, but typically when I play a Mystery Dungeon game, I try and pick myself to be someone that normally isn't a starter. You are the shiny in my universe. Oh my gosh, guys, how adorable is that? My mom loves me. John Strucker, what's going on? Good to see you. That is the most adorable thing ever. Riolu is a great choice too for that? Okay. Yeah, I'll have to look. And I forgot that you get a partner too. Gosh, I'm going to have to pick that. I'm going to want a partner that helps with type coverage. How many shines did I give away yesterday? I ended up giving away about 120, John. Uh, just over 4 hours, 15 minutes on the stream and gave away 120. Went a lot slower than I thought it would. I naively thought I'd be able to give away literally hundreds yesterday. So we will be doing more streams of that uh, moving forward. We will be doing giveaway streams. Maybe like once, I was thinking like maybe once a month. We'll do it on a Friday night and do that for the next few months. Uh, because I still have basically 500 Chinese left to give. They need, they need to find good homes. He doesn't need a starter. My guy is a closer. Oh my goodness, Keith. So yeah, maybe like third Friday of the month from now through like the end of the summer, maybe we'll do a uh, shiny giveaway uh, stream. Also, Fampy and Shinx. No way! Oh, Fampy and Shinx? You know how I love Fampy, Airy. And Shinx would be a good type coverage. I, I might have to go with that, Airy. I mean, I got a feeling I'm going to end up playing through it a few times. But I think Fampy and Shinx would be a good, good matchup. I even got a Fampy plushie right here. I think, uh, I'm pretty sure Heftymon got that. Yeah, I know Heftymon got that. Yeah, 
You know what? I might not be doing any shiny hunting this afternoon. I think I might just be playing through Mystery Dungeon and uh, Mario and Luigi. Show him again. Fanpy the elephant. I'm pretty. Yeah, I'm. I'm positive you got this for me. Name it Dumbo. I should. I never even thought of that, Keith. You know, Hefty Mom, we were talking earlier about movies that we watched like a million times when we were kids. And I was talking about how when I was little, I watched Dumbo nonstop. And isn't it funny that I really like the elephant Pokemon? You believe I can be Fampy and choose Shinx as my partner? I think I'm going to do that, Ari. I think that sounds fun. They they cover uh, they cover each other's weaknesses pretty well. Cam Nation, what's going on, buddy? Good to see you. Razzie, thank you for the Kirklerks. There is a pattern there, Hefty Mom. There is. Harry, I have a feeling I'm going to be blowing up your DMs over the course of the next few weeks while I play through Explorers of Sky. I hope that's okay. I still remember when the first Mystery Dungeon games came out. I think they came out in Gen 4, if I remember correctly. I think it was Gen 4. Um... I played it obsessively. I'm talking about Mystery Dungeon Red and Blue, but specifically Blue? I think Blue was the one on the DS and Red was the one on the Game Boy Advance. Maybe it was the other way around. Whichever one was on the DS, I played it obsessively to the point where I had to complete the Pokedex. I needed to have I needed to get every single I needed to get every single Pokemon on my rescue team. And I created spreadsheets um, with all the Pokemon that I was missing. Um, exactly where they were located, like what, what area, which floors, uh, spawn percentage, friend percentage with and without the friend charm or whatever it's called. Um, red was on GBA. Okay. Then, yeah, yeah. Then, then, uh, then blue was the one I did on. Um, and I got all the way down. All I knew was that dang Kecleon. Someone, what Corix? Are you serious? That wasn't nice of them. Hugo the Hippo was a favorite of mine. That's right, Hugo the Hippo. I remember we were talking about that a few years ago. I ended up having to look that up on YouTube because I didn't remember it. But then when I started watching it, uh, it vaguely came back to me. Yeah, the Kecleon, I don't know what it's like in, in later games, but in red and blue uh, rescue teams, if you had the friend charm or whatever it was called, um, the highest percent chance you could get to have Kecleon asked to join your team was a 0.1% chance. And those Kecleon were so hard to uh, to KO in the first place. I never got the Kecleon. I got everything else. And back then, in those first two games, they had the entire national decks. All first four gens uh, you could get. Uh, in later games, they had... Uh, they didn't have the entire decks. They had a lot of Pokemon, but not the entire decks, which made me a little sad. Yeah, exactly, Ari. It was a negative chance for him to join unless you had every single buff, which took forever to get. Friend Ribbon, is that is that a thing? It's all coming back to me now. Was it called the Friend Ribbon? Was the held item you would hold? Yes, the friend ribbon. Oh, why didn't I hit A? Uh, could you get shinies in Mystery Dungeon? 
not in the first game, I think. Ari, correct me if I'm wrong. I think in later games it is possible to find shinies. Or at least certain shinies. The friend IQ power, that's right. Oh, only in DX. Okay, only in DX. And I can't remember if I have that one or not. That would be wild. How many Pokemon are in DX? And are all of them shinyable? Only like 20 Pokemon to be shiny? Oh, okay. All right. Eh. Well, I mean, that would still be cool. Um, that still might be worth doing. Shiny Bolt. Yeah, I, I learned that term from a smart man, Chem Nation. Tim, I hope you're having a good morning so far. Congrats again on getting the cutie fly, the second cutie fly from the SOS hunts. Have you evolved it into Rabambi yet? Rabambi be my second favorite shiny ever. Basically like mini boss Pokemon that spawn randomly in specific dungeons, only they can be shiny. Okay, so if they're mini bosses, does that mean you can't recruit them or can you recruit them? Because if if you cannot recruit them and they can be shiny, that would be frustrating. Oh my gosh, Gooey Helmet has taken the lead with 51% of the vote. Uh, they can be recruited have tiny odds. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, Ari, you might appreciate this. I started a new hunt yesterday in Ultra Sun. Uh, I got it set up so that I can dual hunt in Ultra Moon as well. But Ari, I'm actually going for the shiny surfing Pikachu. And I'm debating. I'm really on the fence about this. I'm debating evolving the surfing Pikachu into a Lolan Raichu. You're only shiny in DX is Licky Licky. Great shiny. Another yellow one. I think ultimately what I like to do is I like to get the surfing Pikachu in both games. Keep one as Pikachu and evolve one to a Lolan Raichu just because I think that would be really cool. Come on. I really need to untether this switch with the Nintendo account. All right, we got 29 checks left before the end of the stream. We're going to go to 250 today. Uh, how many months left do I need for the shiny living decks? John, two. I have two left for the shiny living decks, meaning ones I've never caught before. That would be the dreaded Tapu Lele and Deoxys. Um, right now, I am working on recapturing things that I already have, but I don't have in Premier Balls. Uh, we were doing Tapu Lele for quite a while, but I was getting burnt out on that hunt. I want to take a break from it, so I thought we'd work on my Premier decks for a while. Yeah, Ari, it, it is. And, like... Like I said, I'd like to ultimately get two of them, but it is a gift Pokemon, so it's full odds, even with the Shiny Charm. It's a 1 in 40, 96 hunt. We'll see if I have it in me to do two of those. That's why I want to dual hunt it, because the checks aren't fast either. There's there's like a wall of... Uh, John, I don't have Manaphy. That's a fair question. I don't have Manaphy. I don't have Jirachi. I don't personally count those, uh, because um, up until very recently... Um, I wasn't able to hunt them. I know they are huntable, but I was not able to hunt them. I recently did find out that I am able to hunt Manaphy. So 
That is true. I do need that one too. You got me on that. So there's three I need. Tapu Lele, Deoxys, and Manaphy. I did not know you left Cheese. I just... You know what? Even when you leave Cheese, you never leave my heart. So it's like you're always here right next to me. Right about here. This is you. Right here. I still haven't started the Manaphy hunt. I, I, I will. Uh, I'm just, I'm a little sad that I won't ever be able to get the Manaphy in a Premier Ball. You transferred your Deoxys and the Park Balls freaked you out. They freaked you out. Ah, uh, you're a better egg cheese. Why did they freak you out? Did you, did you think it was going to be in a Park Ball? Is that what you mean? You thought it was no longer going to be in a Pokeball? Yeah, gotcha. Did you, so did you transfer it all the way up? Or are you still in the process? Is it in home now or is it in Gen uh, 5 or in bank? I'm sorry, I should have warned you about that, Kim. Yeah, park balls are special because they, the park balls capture balls. Just in your soul silver copy, gotcha. Are you like me when you transfer things up like that? I do this with the Mew. Do you like transfer it up into the next generation and then take a look at it, take some screenshots of it in that particular game before you transfer it up again? Are you gonna be doing that? Draw the Pal Park feature. It was a wild scene, a wild Jirachi spawn at level 100, right? I still have, um, I still have the video on my, no, okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm the only weirdo. I still have a video on my phone of me finding the shiny Mew in Pal Park. But yeah, I like, I went in with the Mew and like each generation I go into the, um, you know, the info and take pictures of it on the info screen. So I can put it in a little scrapbook for uh, for its journey. So annoying in black and white though. Yeah, it's very annoying in black and white. Cam hates that too, the, uh, the slingshot, yeah. Now, Ari, I was telling Kim this, and maybe you lived through this, Ari. You, you've been you've been a Pokemon fan for a long time. Maybe you lived through this. Imagine doing that black and white slingshot thing for an entire Gen one through four living decks. That was a rough weekend. I don't know if anybody else went through that. I'm sure there's some people out there that did that back in the day. You shall not imagine that. Uh, is Pal Park only six per tape to black and white not have that limitation? Well, I know it was definitely six per chance. You know what, Ari? You might be right. You might, I mean, that was like, you know, 13, 14 years ago. You might be right. I think, I think that is true. I think, I think it took a couple weeks. I think like, like I set an alarm like every morning when I was getting ready for work. I would go in and transfer another, I don't know if it was six or 12 or whatever, but yeah, I think you're right. I think you were limited on how many you could transfer per day. Or I'm sorry, no, you're talking about Pal Park and Gen 4. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I do remember that. I can't, 
I can't remember if that was the same in black and white, but yeah, you, I completely forgot about that. You're right. When I transferred everything from Gen 3 to Gen 4, yeah, it, it took it took a couple weeks. And I was like really picky and choosy. I don't know why. It's not like I was going to do a lot of playing in the meantime, but I'd be like, okay, well, today I want to transfer up the Charizard and the Scyther and the Mewtwo. I don't know why I didn't just do it in Dex order. I gotta look into black and white. I can't remember. Speaking of black and white, um, I, I did buy quite a few games recently. I did finally get a copy of Black Two. Or I'm, I'm sorry, White Two. I got White Two now, which I haven't touched yet. Um, I was thinking about now that I have Black Two and White Two. I was thinking about actually trying to go for the Shiny Charm in Black and White Two because I never did that. But then I realized you need to have a full National Dex. Uh, so that means I would have to transfer up a bunch of Pokemon from Gen 4 as well. That that might be a lot. Uh, but I kind of want to do it. Because I would like to at least be able to say that I did one shiny hunt in Black and White too. But I mean, that means that I'd have to basically from scratch play at least four games kind of like uh kind of like how gen 6 was for the shiny charm the only difference being i think uh i think the gen 6 games were a much quicker run through than black and white are all right just a handful more checks We'll be back tomorrow if we don't get it here in the next uh, six chapters. Yeah, Black 2, White 2, introduced the Shiny Charm Airy. Base odds were 1 in 8192, but the Shiny Charm took it down to, I, th I want to say 2370. Yeah, so that was that was the first time, really. Uh, Black and white slingshots so annoying. You recently moved your one eighty one ninety two shinies uh, uh, to home, and that was a pain in the butt. I like how you said shinies plural. So you have multiple eighty one ninety two shinies. That's awesome, John. What all do you have? With very few exceptions, I can basically trace my entire Shiny Living Dex from Gen 6 on. Uh, there's been a couple of earlier Gen hunts that I've done, but just about all of it, and a couple of random Shinies I got back in Gen 3, but just about all of them have been Gen 6, 7, 8, or 9. Not shiny. Shelby just looks like he'd be slimy, doesn't he? Maybe not slimy, but squishy. Like if you if you poked Shelmet with your finger, doesn't he look like he'd be kind of squishy? Maybe it's just me. No shiny. You've only got three uh, 1E192 shinies. Valley Windworks, Shellos, Route 202 Shings, and then Wooper from Safari Zone. 
I still love that looper uh, clip, Aerie, so much. That's more than I ever got. Um, I, I, I never got anything in Gen 4 or Gen 5. At least not yet. I got... Uh, I got two shinies in Gen 3. I got an Unknown C, which is my very first shiny ever. Uh, and I got a Geodude, which is now a Golem in Home that I will never get rid of. Very creatively named Rocky. What's going on, Chrissy? Coming in right at the end of the stream for the last check. Excuse me. Before we do this last check, I just want to say thank you to a couple people. Cold Sakai for 13 months. Tyler Shanks for 6 months. AM Clockwork for 13 months. And for a gifted membership. Thank you guys so much. Let's, uh, let's do this last check. If this is not Shine, we will be back tomorrow continuing this. Three times on your Chikorita hunt, got two Total and one Cyndaquil before you end up getting it. Then you also had Knocked Owl, Tentacruel, and Pidgeot. Very nice. Uh, you know what? I take it back. I did get one Shiny Gen 4. I did do the starter hunt in Heart Gold, Soul Silver, and I did end up getting a Chikorita, which is uh, in the giveaway box now. It's currently a Bayleaf, and I, I must have known it and forgot. It's a female, too. So I got a female Chikorita from the starter hunt in Heart Gold, Soul Silver. You've been sick. I'm sorry to hear that, Chrissy. So fast and mindless in background. That's true, Ari. That's that's a good call. That's a good point. See, back then, th it was just too intimidating for me. With you know, one in eighty-one, ninety-two being the, the odds, it was just too intimidating uh, for me to try and start hunting. Nowadays, I would probably, I would probably have more patience or something like that. All right, let's do this last check. Let's see if we can get a buzzer beater shiny. No shiny. So we will continue this hunt tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for being here. This has been a great morning. I appreciate you all so much. Uh, have a great rest of your day. Anyone that's doing the Bellsprout uh, Pogo Community Day, good luck. Hope you get a bunch of shundos. And uh, we'll see you back here tomorrow. Take care. Do something nice for someone today just because it's the right thing to do. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.